Y'all, it's an exciting day. Days like this don't come around often. We've got a new board. It's a custom from Zenit. It's their uh, downhill shape, or their downhill concave, the uh, rocket concave, also found on their Stinger. So, some of the specs. Uh, this is the bullet shape. They actually just released a new board today called the bullet. Uh, it has the same shape, but not this concave. Concave on their new bullet is uh, really, really minimalistic. The kind of concave we're seeing from a lot of downhill companies these days. Uh, the Rocket and the Stinger notoriously have really big wheel flares. Uh, and in the past, I've really enjoyed them on the Rockets I've tried. It's just that the Mini Rocket's always been too narrow, eight and three quarters. Really hard for me to feel comfortable on. But then the OG Rocket, the full size one, is nine and three quarters, which is enormous. And so I went right in the middle. We've got this board at 9.25. Uh, but in addition, I also wanted something with a smaller wheelbase. On the Moonshine Spirit, the smallest wheelbase I could do is like 22.5. I noticed that with my stance and the way I wanted to stand over the front truck, um, I really wasn't putting the right pressure on my back truck and cornering and my back truck would often slide out, lose grip. Um, so I had to very consciously put weight backwards. So what I'm hoping is this board has 22 and a half, uh, which is the same, but it does also go down to 20 and a half. I'm hoping that on this setup, I can get that weight distribution a little bit better. Uh, another thing about this board is it is top mounted and it's thick, it's eight plies. So ride heights, you know, decently higher than what I was on the Spirit. Higher ride heights often associated with snappier slides and potentially more grip. Uh, not sure how much grip we're gonna see today. The roads are kind of freshly salted. So got a lot of dust in these wide cheetahs. If you remember from my review, they really don't like the dust. I have the stock grip tape on. It's not great, but it's not the worst ever. Plan on applying some new stuff. I'm gonna get this run. The board's a lot heavier. The Spirit was super light, like poplar, carbon fiber. The board's an eight-ply maple. So she is thick. Really damping vibrations well. I'm gonna try to grip this. Yeah, we're gonna grip it. The smaller wheelbase is interesting. I didn't keep it at 22 and a half. Maybe I should have for the sake of comparing, but I am maybe at the 21 inch wheelbase, maybe a little smaller. Felt pretty good. It was interesting having the back truck more underneath me. On my last board, I really liked my downhill sidebends at 50 degrees, 25 degrees, 50 front, 25 rear. And now that I'm, you know, using the same trucks, the same angle split, I can really feel the 25 degree rear kind of rotating me around. Um, and that's because, you know, you bring in the wheelbase an inch or two, the center of rotation of the board is gonna change. So if I wanted to mimic what I was feeling on my previous board, I'd want to probably step it down Maybe to 20 degrees, maybe something else. Uh, Sly at the bottom felt pretty smooth, though it was far from optimal. It was my first run, no warm up today. So I don't blame myself for not quite having a satisfying heel side, but it is gonna take a second to learn where to put my weight, how to press into the concave on this board in order to get those juicy grippy shutdowns. This board's really sweet. I do like the uh, the rear wheel flare as a nice reference and a tuck. 
it's a good spot to go dig your back foot in. The front concave is really cool because the heel is behind the front wheel flare. And so it sits flat, but my toe is in the big flare. So it's a great spot to really dig in. You might have noticed on my Moonshine Spirit for a while, I had a concave implant, a wedge that would sit under my front toe, give me something to push in in heel sides and uh, a little more leverage for my front toe in tucks. And I did like that a lot. And what was very appealing about this board is it kind of would do the same thing without the concave mod. I love me some flares. Really don't like drop, but I love flares. So that run felt pretty good. Went a little faster, threw a little more speed into that corner. Um, on gripping toe sides through the bumps and the waves, I did notice my back foot slipping, partially thanks to the grip, but also, you know, it could be the concave as well. Um, kind of standing in that back flare uh, doesn't do the same thing as a torque block because it's also like curved inward. So it does kind of slide your foot in. It's not terrible, not terrible by any means. And again, could be probably easily fixed with some stickier grip. But that's a problem I always have here. The road is just that violent. Shit feels good so far. I am really liking it. You know, at the 25 degree rear, I, I felt it again, you know, the way it kind of likes to steer out on the smaller wheelbase. I definitely feel it like slightly tendency towards oversteer, uh, which I actually really liked on that run. That felt good. Um, it wasn't enough tendency to oversteer that I was fighting, like drifting the whole time. Like if I were riding a more symmetrical setup, uh, but it was the nice tiny little amount of oversteer that just turns you through the corner. I think it's good. I don't think I want to lower it to 20 yet. I'm really stoked with this board. It's a, I think it's a nice upgrade from what I've been using. All right, it should come as no surprise to you that my third run was the best run yet. Um, yeah, felt really good. I actually exceeded kind of the, the grip this board had in the left turn, and the way it drifted out felt really good. Again, very uh, reassuring that this 50-25 angle split's probably the right way to go for now. Um, on the shutdown slide, uh also felt the best um i think that's less of a quality of the board more of me just getting used to doing the shutdown slides again but um i did notice that when it pendies back so when the board's kind of reversing and i'm sliding back to the regular position it's biting really hard um it's really digging in and launching me backwards uh so i i didn't quite stick it still got to drop my other puck down and try to save the slide, but it felt pretty good. Um, if I just take a couple more rounds to get my weight distribution in the right place, uh, I think I'm gonna dial in that, uh, that shutdown slide too. I nailed the shutdown drift on that one. I remember not to sit back too far and try to keep my shoulders a little more square with the board when it was approaching 90 and uh, stopped it. It felt really great. Getting great pressure on these wheels. Really great braking force. Um, in that corner through the, the heel, I noticed I put a little too much weight on my front foot. Uh, and I know when I do that because it feels like the front truck collapses. Um, and then the front truck will understeer. So uh, that's a problem I've had on my board for a while now, uh, which was partially motivating me to try the smaller wheelbase. Um, but it's clear I still need a little conscious weight on the back foot, but yeah. That's gonna wrap up my first reaction of the custom downhill Zenit board. Um, unlike the Marble 40 review, this uh, video, this deck, it's not sponsored. Uh, they did not send me this board. I, I bought it at full price. Um, so I'll be chipping away at a in-depth review, you know, the kind of real nerdy detailed stuff that you like, but I thought it'd be 
pretty fun in the meantime for you to see my first reaction to this board the the new concave the new wheelbase and you know how i'm getting used to all of it um, i appreciate you all so very much be on the lookout for a review of the don't trip downhill side trucks been working on that in addition the moonshine spirit now that that board is retired from doing fast grippy downhill uh, i think i'm ready to share my in-depth thoughts about it and then additionally a review of the coltrada pro model board i've been free riding for the past year but i appreciate you all so very much and thank you for watching